Oh, Dr. Joshua, Shika Hogan here, reporting for the Lloyd Review. So, today, I'm just gonna do a Lloyd Review because, well, the thing is, my local ISP is currently down. So, that's kind of problematic between uploading and stuff. And, yeah. I have to use my mobile connection to go online and well as you know mobile connection is not the most stable of connection especially in my place so yeah I'm not gonna risking getting people mad but well wait everyone is always mad in this game aren't they I'm not sure <laughs> uh, oh well so today we're gonna jump onto another faction of Labrock Army here. It's basically from another country if if it's in real life, but it's a joint forces because they have to defend from the Chaos Force uh, well the Gigan forces. So yeah. This is from kinda quote unquote Russian branch here. This is Sasha Tereskov, I believe. Let me. Yep, Sasha Tereskov. I always want to put the A on at the end of the first Sasha Tereskov, uh, it's. Yeah, I don't know. It sounds more Slavic if I try to give it that, but. Oh, uh, that's not her name. <laughs> right. So. The first look. It's basically a goddamn tank. I mean, look, it's based on a KV-2, kinda. I mean, the turret is pretty much a KV-2 stack on each other and then put two of them side by side like that. And then attach the girl on the middle and call it, yeah, this is a moin. Even though it's just basically an equipment that for some reason you don't have a place to mount it properly. Well, I don't know, I mean, yeah, that, they, they're kind of accurate with the Russian sometimes because, well, Russian back in the war, well, they just slap a giant turret on the KV-1 chassis and, yeah, it's, well, the tank is basically a meme at this point. <laughs> I mean, a naval gun on a tank, like, bloody hell, and... Bonus on this game, you can fly with the tank, so yeah, it's every kind of meme for Russia tanks <laughs> on one character. <laughs> right, let's go on to her overview here on the modified mo modifying page, well, customi customizing page here. So, right. Sasha Tereskov, an officer of the Labour Army and commander of the Northern Defensive Line. So she has an amicable personality, her ferocity during battle is a, as terrifying as it is legendary. Well, pretty much, I mean, that's basically Russian, alright? Also, okay, I cannot go even further. But, uh, yeah. Well, I can zoom out. Okay, I believe. Well, they chose to use the similar kind of style Red Star instead of the. Well, actually, they have the hammer and sickle logo on for her neck piece. Pretty much just like the like on Hana that has the Iron Cross on her. As her neck piece, Sasha used a uh, hammer and sickle. Well, just like under kind of communism. Right, so yeah, basically use radical communism with this tank. <laughs> I don't know. I can say that out loud because someone's going to kill me if I try to say it like that. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's just my country. It's funny because it's all in the past and they just can't move on for some reason. Right. So let's see what she has. Well, I pretty much already know. So like her body part, 
Deploys a multi-unit bit capable of enhancing weaponry, blocking 90% of all projectile damage and launching explosive salvos. And it's basically transforming her from her normal movement into her advanced movement with shield, as you can see before when, if I if you see me playing with her. So Wonderon, it has eight ammo, and it will deploy a shield uh, front side and top no armor for the bottom and rear because well she is one of the first kind of with the shield i believe i mean i don't know is shasha come first before defend torla mm, i don't know but yeah pretty balanced and well that is that and of course, that's also connected to her wonder bit, which is Slava Shield. Slava Shield. Shield. Yeah. I don't know. I just end up saying it's shit. It's not a shit, alright. I mean, it's pretty good. So yeah, when the play gain Crimson Veil, which you won't be staggered at all if as long as your shield is active, reduce turning speed, which is kind of a problem sometimes, but you can help with boosting and, uh, as I'll show you later uh, custom actions restricted so yeah pressing the space key will drain boost gauge to speed up turns as it explained and I'll show you just that uh, what else mm, this one here Slava tank well uh, it's it's love proof uh, <laughs> While specialized shields are deployed, the cannons can launch a salvo of missiles which deal physical damage to enemies in the line of fire. <sighs> okay. The missiles here has a force of 12. 1000 ammo, which is a lot actually for a rocket based weapon, has a range of 350. Speed of 320 and initiation of 400. And it's the same when the shield is active. Yeah, pretty much the same, but it's different actually if you actually do look at it when you play. And then her sub is which is called multi jump, which is basically just dashing around here and there. But it's really coming handy if you really need it, especially when you have shield on. So alright. Her multi jump has stand force, so it actually damage people. Has 60 ammo, 100 range, 150 speed, uh, initiation of 500. And yeah. You can use it Two or three times, I can't really remember. I'll just test it out after this. Well, on the test side there. And then we have the Slava tank, at, which is power of her, which is very shot. This is the one that I rarely use because the projectiles is really slow. Unless I'm really needed, I'll use it. But actually, the use is kind of different than what I thought because I just read it and well, just shields that block enemy projectiles allowing Shasha to advance fearlessly towards the enemy line, so it's actually blocking the shots. I didn't know that. <laughs> so that's good to know. Although it's kinda a bit too late. <laughs> Alright. Uh, yeah, let's go on testing her on the field. Well, showing you off her move, actually. So. This is her barrier shot first, I'll just show you that. It's pretty much shooting her barrier out and it's actually blocked projectiles. So yeah, I don't know how it will work. Will it work properly or not? I don't know. But yeah, it's a good help to reduce damage from the front. Well, it's actually damage too, so yeah, it will help a bit with the damage department. And then let's show you the missile here. It shoots four, 
on each barrel but it will act differently when I activate the shield it's pretty standard for shot and it's homing so yeah you may need to lead a bit here and there but well that's not really part of your job really because your job is to tank people's shot and probably ram them okay and then for multi jump which is basically dashing yep you can use it twice and if you fall well if you if there is a wall beside you you can still use it and it's go up although apparently it went to the wrong way this time like that it's supposed to work like that i don't know what happens there but it launched me into the wrong side yep this place is kind of weird here <laughs> or maybe okay let me try this nope it's still normal uh, okay, she double voice there, and there's our cleaner. So uh, yeah, her multi jump will come in really, really good when you really need to move. So yeah, now onto the main show here, which is the wonder round. Okay, you activate it, and it takes around two to three seconds before you can move again. And as you can see, yeah, the turning is so much slower. And you have four shields, and all of them can fire. And yeah, if I try to shoot the barrel shot, it's still normal. But if I try to use the missiles, it shoots four at once on four shots. So four by four, you have 16 shots each. Salvo. Yep, 16 shots. Unlike when the one run is off. And, well, I, as I said before, she has a lot of missiles, right? Well, you can say goodbye to that because each consume 4 shots each. Well, 16 shots is salvo. And if you survive long enough, you'll be out of one run and you'll be out of missiles. So you have to rely with the Barrier shot. Okay, that is not chosen here. With, oh, I really want that. Although, I'm not sure how you can see from that. <laughs> uh, right. So let's activate the wonder again. Now the problem is, you can fast turn with the space bar, well the boost, to fast turn your turning and movement speed a bit, but. With that, you cannot really go flying. I mean, yeah, I try to press spacebar and I won't be able to fly. And yeah, that's gonna be a problem if you fall like this. You won't be able to get up because you can jump. But that's why we have multi jump. It will help you to go up, just like that. So, th that's all part of her. So, can I go to your free taxi when I'm trying to give my opinion, please? Um, no? Okay. Oh, there's a different role. Speaking of the devil. <laughs> right. So, my opinion about this girl right here. Well, art-wise, she is pretty, to be honest. I mean... Yeah, I have a fetish about for a military uniform, but that's a topic for another day. <laughs> and she's Russian, of course, which is a plus side because Russian girls are the best. Yeah, go for you guys on the Russia, <laughs> our girls. And yeah, that's and the art style is pretty nice. It's complete with the Ushanka with some mouse ears on top, which is kind of putting on cute factors there. Even though the backside isn't really that cute. I mean, it's a tank. It's not cute. Well, there's a cute tank, but they're not for Battlefield. I mean, I'm talking about some French tanks on the early days. 
<laughs> of war. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's just good, but it doesn't really help them with the German invasion. <laughs> but yeah, her performance well. I really like it, and she is pretty much can destroy Amelia by ramming her when her Wonderland is active because. Well, I'll just link you to the video where I ram Amelia with her because the shield is actually called as entity that can damage other players. So keep that in mind, and it will damage a lot with the stationary enemies. So like Nebel, if she happens to use her stationary wonder bits on the ground, you can just ram her and uh, Amelia, you can pretty much break her apart by ramming her with this tank. So yeah, a hard, pretty much a hard counter to Amelia, to be honest. And Satan is just running around. <laughs> so, other, other thing as well, she is good for farming cards because she has shield and if the shields got hit, it costs us support points. So yeah, basically you just being a messages towards enemies, but not really messages because you have a shield. Although you have, you may want to be careful with the melees that running around, especially one hit built by Omega.x. If you found him, you may want to run before you get one hit by him. <laughs> but yeah. You still have to keep in mind that you're not invincible, invincible with this shield. Well, you can pretty much block almost projectile with the shield, but some high explosive weapon that has a huge area, well, it will get through and it will damage Sasha. Although not as much as without a shield, but it's it's still gonna damage you. Okay, there is someone. There, Zetra, Angel, Shana. Uh, yeah. Everyone is still battling here, but I can't really join them because my connection is not good. So, yeah. I guess that's it then. Of course, she will be replacing Hana in the episode because, well, Hana is still my favorite. Well, it's not just still, it will be all time favorite for me. I mean, it managed to replace Bismarck. <laughs> And uh, yeah, I guess that's it then. You just use her as a tank instead of the ar normal archery. So yeah, okay, let's stand in front of our player here. Okay. Looks like that's it then for this review. Uh, as just well, if you like my video, hit the like button. If you don't hit the dislike button, and uh, if you want to see more of my content, then please hit the subscribe button right down below. So, yeah, I guess that's it for today. Thanks for watching, and remember, I'm gonna do my ass on you later.